Hello everyone and welcome to another Epilogue Laser presentation. I'm Jeremiah and this is Personalization Equals Profit, Laser Projects for Gifts, the Home, and the Holidays. Today we'll be taking a look at 10 projects spanning personalized gifts, home decor, and holiday items to show you what you can do with an Epilogue Laser. If you aren't familiar with us, let me take this opportunity to introduce ourselves. We are Epilogue Laser, the world's leading manufacturer of small format laser systems. We have been designing and manufacturing laser machines for 32 years, since 1988. We produce laser machines with fiber laser sources for marking metals and engineered plastics, and machines with CO2 laser sources for engraving and cutting a vast number of other materials, including wood, fabric, acrylic, glass, and much, much more. Plus, we also produce dual source systems with both laser types to give you as many options as possible. Our systems feature the highest resolution engraving and engraving speeds up to 165 inches per second. And on top of all that, our machines are designed and manufactured right here in the United States at our facilities in Golden, Colorado, located just outside Denver in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. We have been serving the laser industry for decades, an industry which operates in a wide variety of markets, including the realm of gifts, decor, and products for the holidays, which is what we're here to talk about today. Now more than ever, personalized gifts are taking on a much deeper meaning. As large social gatherings are temporarily paused, personalized gifts let recipients know they are loved and thought about, even as they're spending time apart from friends and family. Moreover, as many of us are spending more time at home, we want our space to reflect our personality and style, regardless of the season. If you're interested in getting into the customization game, now is a great time. And if you're already in the personalization industry, you are perfectly positioned to market your specialty gift services during the holidays and year round. Here we will look at some popular personalized gifts, home decor items, and holiday themed items that you can create with your laser. We have 10 projects to share with you today, so let's get started. First up, we're going to take a look at some personalized individual gifts. A personalized gift allows people to materialize their relationships and share a special connection with someone. As the old saying goes, it's the thought that counts, and every laser engraved gift immediately communicates a meaningful amount of thought. A personalized gift takes thought and effort on the part of the giver and makes the recipient feel special. Plus, personalized gifts are perfect for any occasion. Holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, you name it. Personalized gifts can span a variety of categories, from custom apparel and engraved photographs to personalized jewelry and one-of-a-kind creations. As you explore your competition and live your daily life, keep an eye out for items that would be made special with the laser engraving touch. You'll find there are opportunities everywhere you look to turn a standard item into a meaningful gift. Let's start off by taking a look at a multifaceted engraving project that shows off engraving with multiple materials with our Fusion Pro laser system. This will be a housewarming gift from parents to their child, and it's a great example of an engraving service you can provide to customers who bring you an existing product, or to companies looking to include a value add with their current product line. As you can see, we have a beautiful chef's knife. We have a box containing the knife, the velvet topped foam insert that secures the knife in place, and the knife itself. We are going to engrave all of these. We'll start by measuring our lid and marking our center point. Then we'll position our laser head over this center point using the built-in red dot pointer as our guide. From the Fusion Pro control panel, we'll set this as our center point so we can use center center engraving. The artwork for our box is pretty simple, some nice typography in a structured layout. To help with positioning the rest of our artwork, we've copied a screenshot of the Fusion Pro's camera view from the Epilogue dashboard and brought it into our graphics software. This gives us a real template so we can accurately place our engravings. We have a message from mom and dad on the velvet topped foam covering the blade and the knife maker's logo on the insert. We also have the logo set up for the blade itself, as well as a fun rules of the kitchen graphic for the foam underneath the knife. As you can see, each of these graphics is a different color, and we'll be using color mapping to make our workflow efficient. We'll print our artwork over to the epilogue engraver, then start configuring our settings in the epilogue dashboard. We'll start by switching to center center engraving, then we'll split our artwork by color so we can customize settings for each graphic. 
For the lid artwork, we'll load in the paperboard engraving settings from our built-in materials library. For our top velvet layer, we'll load in some settings we've previously added to our database. For the knife artwork, we'll load in the built-in stainless steel Enduramark settings. And for the bottom foam, we'll select the built-in craft foam engraving settings. After that, we're ready to send everything to the laser. We'll start with the lid. By using center center engraving, we ensure our graphic is engraved centered on our established center point, giving us perfectly positioned artwork. Next up is the velvet. Positioning with the cam review screenshot gives us accurate artwork placement on both parts of the velvet. Next, we'll spray our knife blade with some Enduramark metal marking spray. When hit by the laser, this layer of spray will permanently bond to the blade, giving us a bold mark when we wash away the excess. Finally, we'll engrave the foam underneath. As an additional component to this project, we have a congratulations graphic printed out on adhesive paper and backed with cardstock. Our artwork has cut lines around the artwork, as well as black registration marks which we'll use to show off the Fusion Pro's iris camera registration feature. We'll split by color to separate out the cut lines from our registration dots. Then we'll select the registration option on our registration dot process. We'll go ahead and set our cutting settings. Then we'll send the job to the Epilogue Job Manager to handle the registration. From here, we're able to select the registration dots using the Iris Camera View. The Job Manager correlates the selected dots to the dots in the artwork and positions the graphics accordingly. Regardless of the paper's position within the machine, this allows us to ensure accurate cutting. With that complete, we'll send the job to the laser. 
the laser head moves to the registration marks to confirm their position, then begins cutting. And with that, we have a completed set. Five separate engravings and one laser cut combined to make a wonderful gift. Next up, we'll do a photo engraving project. Laser engraving photos is always a hit. Having a memory of a favorite time or place immortalized onto a wooden plaque, crystal clear glass, or soft fabric makes for a wonderful gift. Here, we'll be using our Fusion Pro system to engrave a series of canvas panels that we spray painted black. We have some photos from that once in a lifetime vacation from a few years back, and we've opened them up in Adobe Photoshop, where we'll do some pre-processing to make sure we get the best engraving results. We'll use Photoshop's Actions feature to save the pre-processing steps we perform on our first photo, so applying the same steps to our subsequent photos is a breeze. We'll set our resolution to 300 pixels per inch and resize our photo to 20 inches wide. Next, we'll adjust our canvas size to crop our image down to 10 inches square. and we'll adjust our photo so it's positioned properly. We'll create another action and start modifying the look of our image. First, in the Exposure menu, we'll adjust our image's gamma correction to 2. Then we'll use the Unsharp Mask filter with an amount of 500%, a radius of 6, and a threshold of 1. Next, we'll apply the Sharpen filter. Then we'll convert the image to grayscale mode, and we'll also convert it to a bitmap using the diffusion dither method. Finally, we'll invert the image, then stop recording our action. While the image we've ended up with may look a little strange compared to the original, we will see how these steps provide us with a great looking engraving. We'll take a look at our other photos and apply our resizing and modification actions to each. With these images saved, we'll open up Adobe Illustrator and place the four images we just created. We'll print to the epilogue engraver. Then, in the epilogue dashboard, we'll manually position the artwork on our four canvas panels.
Our settings for this project will be a resolution of 300, 100% speed, and 60% power, with Stuky dithering and bottom-up engraving. We'll send the job to the laser and let the machine get to work. As you can see, the black paint on the canvas provides us with sharp contrast and our modified images give us beautiful results. One of a kind gifts created with an epilogue laser. As people are spending more time at home these days, it's especially important to be happy with your surroundings. People want decor that reflects their style and represents their personality. And always remember that personalized home decor can be both beautiful and functional. Create personalized wreaths and signage for the front door, engrave one-of-a-kind pillows, make kitchen decorations and accessories, including personalized cutting boards, charcuterie boards, and trays. You can even customize placemats, napkins, tablecloths, and more. Let's take a look at engraving some Coyer fiber doormats for the front step. Believe it or not, this material engraves very well. These mats are easy to find, and they provide a great blank canvas for laser engraved artwork. We'll begin by placing our mat into our Fusion Pro laser system. This is our Fusion Pro 32 with a 32 inch by 20 inch work area and it easily holds our doormat. There's not much preparation we need to do with our artwork. We've made sure our page size matches our mat dimension so the artwork will be properly positioned. Then we'll send our graphics over to the epilogue engraver. We'll first check that our artwork lines up properly, which it does. It may be a little hard to tell, but we actually have both our text graphic and an outline around it, so we'll split these by color into their own processes. For the black text graphic, we'll use 300 dpi resolution, 100% speed, and 90% power, with bottom-up engraving and a stooky dithering pattern to give us a smooth engraving result. For the green cut line, we're going to use 80% speed, 50% power, and 20 frequency. Our goal here is not to cut through the mat, but to achieve a kiss cut which will give us a nice border around the edge of our graphic. We'll print the job to the laser and watch our artwork come to life.
we end up with a nice dark graphic against our tan material, and the kiss cut creates a well-defined border around the entire thing. We could also go with something a little more abstract. Here we have a pattern sized to our matte dimensions. We can just print this to the epilogue engraver, and in the dashboard use 300 dpi, Eighty percent speed and one hundred percent power, with Stuky dithering and bottom-up engraving. and we can see we achieve a nice subtle pattern on our doormat, one of two custom designs to greet visitors at our front step. Let's have some fun with some cork boards. Whether it's a bulletin board for the kitchen, near the back door, or in a teenager's room, there's always a use for a cork board around the house. And with a laser machine, you can turn a regular old square or rectangle bulletin board into a unique expression. We're working with a 28 inch by 20 inch sheet of adhesive backed cork which fits nicely into our Fusion Pro 32's work area. We're actually going to be engraving and cutting three different cork boards in one go. We have our graphics brought into our graphics software, a zebra print, a tree line, and a name. Two of these are solid engraving graphics, and one is a cut line. We also have cut lines for the borders of the two engraving pieces. We'll print these over to the epilogue engraver, and in the dashboard, we'll configure our engraving settings. We'll use 300 DPI resolution, 100% speed, 20% power, Stuky dithering, and bottom-up engraving. For the cut lines, we'll use 25% speed, 100% power, and 20 frequency. Then we'll send it over to the laser and start it up. In a handful of minutes, we have three custom bulletin boards ready to be hung up around the house. Whether you're making these for yourself or selling them in your store, it's an easy project with a lot of bang for your buck. Let's make some custom home signage. Quips, quotes, and sayings lift our spirits and make us smile. Adorning our walls with words that make us happy is made easy with an epilogue laser which gives you the freedom to customize your decor to your heart's content. With this project, we'll demonstrate the freedom of Epilogue's open architecture software. First, we'll print to the laser using Adobe Illustrator.
In the print menu, we'll set our printer to epilogue engraver and our media size to custom with the dimensions matching our artboard size. Then we can hit print and send the artwork to the epilogue dashboard where we can configure our settings and send the job to the laser. Alternatively, we can print using Corel Draw. Printing from here is as easy as selecting epilogue engraver and hitting print. In the dashboard, we can load in our material settings, then send the job to the laser. We can even print with Adobe Acrobat Reader. In the print dialog, we select epilogue engraver. Then in the properties menu, in the paper quality tab, we select the advanced button, where we then set the paper size to postscript custom page size and adjust the custom page size dimensions to match our machine's work area. Then we hit print to send the artwork to the epilogue dashboard, where we adjust our settings and print to the laser. Next up, Microsoft Word. We'll start with a blank document. From the Layout tab, we'll select Size, More Paper Sizes. We'll set the dimensions of our page to match our machine's work area, much like in the Acrobat Reader. If you try this, you'll notice an error indicating that we can't go over 22 inches with these settings. So, we'll go back and instead size the page to match the piece we'll be engraving, which falls within Word's allowable dimensions. If the piece you're working with is bigger, you could simply scale your dimensions down proportionally, then size your artwork back up in the dashboard after you print from Word. We'll then go into Margins, Custom Margins, and set our margins to zero all around. We can then insert, position, and scale our graphic. We're now ready to print, so we'll select Epilogue Engraver as our printer, then just like we did with Acrobat Reader, we'll set a custom paper size, this time matching it to our piece dimensions. We hit print to send it to the dashboard, where we adjust our settings and send it to the laser. How about Inkscape? We'll load our graphics file, then print. We'll select Epilogue Engraver as our printer, and in the Preferences menu, we'll set a custom paper size to match our work area, just like with Acrobat Reader. We'll print it to the dashboard, adjust our position and settings, then send it to the laser. We can even print directly from Google Chrome. With an SVG file open in Chrome, we can hit Ctrl P to print. We'll select Epilogue Engraver as our destination, then hit print. This opens up the same Windows print dialog we've been seeing, where we can set a custom paper size to match our work area. We'll make sure we apply these settings, then we'll hit print to send it to the dashboard. Then adjust our position and settings and send it to the laser. As we can see, each of those files was successfully sent to the laser despite all coming from different sources. Now we'll go ahead and start engraving.
And there we have it, custom signage for the home, each printed from a different software package. Regardless of your current or desired workflow, Epilogue's open architecture design makes it easy to get the job done. Let's take a look at another decor project, this time with a new material. Here we have four hangable slate panels. Now, these could be used pretty much anywhere, as artwork in the home, as signage at businesses, breweries, and restaurants. The destination is up to you. Whatever the final location, slate engraved with a laser results in a modern but natural look. We have four different pieces of artwork here, one for a barbershop, one for a cocktail lounge, and two for children's rooms. We have some guides set up in Illustrator to help with positioning, but since we'll be engraving these all in one batch, there's not much else we need to do, so we'll print these to the epilogue engraver. We'll load in slate engraving settings from the materials library, switch to bottom up engraving, and select Stuky for our dithering pattern. Then we'll send it to the laser and watch it get to work. we end up with a beautiful contrast. Certainly a little more subtle than some materials, but still bold enough to be easily readable, and with a natural feel that only stone can get you, all powered by the laser engraving of an epilogue. Holiday-themed items make great gifts. Add personalization to those gifts, and they are able to make a strong connection with the recipient who will think of whomever gave them the gift every time they see it. Holiday items can be both decor, such as a door wreath, or functional, like holiday wine glasses. This duality means you have even more opportunities for new products. Laser cut and engrave ornaments, wreaths and holiday signage. Etch glassware to make drinking eggnog or wine a little more special. Laser cut pop-up greeting cards and craft completely custom holiday decorations. Get in the holiday spirit and imagine what you can create with the power of a laser. Let's start off our holiday projects by quickly revisiting the Coyer doormats, this time looking just briefly into the future with a Halloween twist. We'll load our mat into the Fusion Pro and manually focus the laser to the surface of the material. We've already sent our artwork to the laser, so we'll start it up. And there we have a fun, easy project to help make the home a little spookier this Halloween. Let's make some gift tags for some Christmas presents. We have a template set up so we can easily change out names to run multiple batches if we need to. All we need to do is type in a new name and print the file. So here we'll switch from Paul to Henry, then print the entire set to the epilogue engraver.
in the dashboard, we'll see our processes. One is an engraving process, and one is a cutting process. For the engraving portion, we'll load in the 500 dpi clip art text engraving settings for wood from the materials library. And we'll select Stuki as our dithering pattern with bottom up engraving. For the cutting portion of this job, we'll import the 8th inch wood cutting settings. Then we're actually going to adjust the speed up to 25% as we determined that worked well during testing. Then we'll send it to the laser. At the machine, we'll load in our sheet of wood. This time we're using a sheet of pre-finished alder, which is actually the same wood we use here at Epilogue for our classic and very detailed Aztec calendar sample, which we send out to people who are interested via our website. With the wood loaded in, we'll start up the job. The laser will start with the engraving, then we'll move on to the cutting. Once finished, we'll extract the tags from the work area. We'll give them a light scrub to eliminate any residue from the wood's varnish. Then we're good to go and the tags are ready for prime time. A little bit of unique holiday cheer for Beneath the Tree this winter, made possible by the power of an epilogue laser machine. Let's look at a project that is exclusively laser cutting. We're going to be making some decorative wood snowflakes. These designs could be used for anything from a winter-themed mobile, to wall art, to window decorations. You could even take the artwork and engrave it rather than cut it, making snowflake patterns, engraving a holiday card, whatever you can imagine. But for this project, we're cutting them out as hanging decorations. We'll print these to the epilogue engraver as is. In the dashboard, we'll load in the 8th inch wood cutting settings from our materials library, then send the job to the laser. We're working with a 12 inch by 24 inch sheet of plywood in our Fusion Pro 32. We'll start by jogging our laser head out a bit, then auto-focusing the laser to the material. After that, we'll start the job. Watching the laser cut through material is pretty fun, so we'll let this one play out for a bit.
Once the laser finishes up, we'll extract our laser cut snowflakes. You could finish these any way you like. You could leave them as raw laser cut wood, you could stain them, you could fully paint them. What we're going to do is give them a decent coat of spray paint, three in one shade of blue, two in a darker shade of blue. We'll also follow up with some silver and gold glitter spray paint to give them a little bit of wintry sparkle. And that's it. Hang them, mount them, even frame them. With the power of an epilogue laser, you can design and cut intricate objects that would be difficult and time consuming to accomplish by hand. and serves as a good reminder that even something as simple and inexpensive as plywood can be elevated instantly to priceless with the touch of an epilogue laser. We'll print our artwork from Corel Draw. Then load in our deep engraving settings for wood. We'll adjust our speed a little, bumping it up to 60%. Then select Stooky Dithering and Bottom Up Engraving. Then we'll send it to the laser. We haven't talked about it yet, but if you're not aware of why we're using Bottom Up Engraving, we do that to help minimize any residue buildup on the finished piece. The machine's exhaust vents are located at the back of the work area, which means the airflow is drawn from front to back. Any smoke or residue that results from the engraving is typically drawn backward in the direction of the airflow. So if you engrave front to back or bottom up, you will be engraving with the direction of the airflow, and you limit the amount of smoke or residue passing along already engraved areas, which keeps your final engraving as clean as possible. And there we have part one complete, with a bold contrast against the light plywood. Next up, we'll engrave another set of panels, this time with some Merry Christmas cheer.
we end up with a similarly bold contrast. And when combined with our first set of panels, these signs are ready for the holiday limelight at home or at the office party. According to the research firm Technavio, the personalized gifts market in the U.S. alone will be worth nearly $3.5 billion by 2022. That's a pie worth taking a slice of. Since the sentimental value of a one-of-a-kind gift is far greater than that of a generic present, and since custom gifts are unique and irreplaceable, with a laser system, you're poised perfectly to tap into this market. So make sure you are available to your customers. Make sure you have a website and that it's up to date and easy to use. Focus on using photos to display your products, as that's how laser cut and engraved gifts are best shared. If you have a physical storefront, put your holiday products front and center as the holidays approach, and keep at least some of your holiday products available year round. In addition to your website, be sure to bolster your online presence via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Etsy, and Amazon. Some of these venues will help you spread the word about your products, and others will provide you with additional revenue streams. If you haven't yet, explore your options and commit to trying at least one of these this holiday season to see if it helps you grow your business. Targeted advertising is an approach with proven results, and there are many ways you can get your business in front of more eyes in time for the holidays. Reward social media sharing. Respond to your existing fans on your social media accounts. Like their posts showing off your products. Repost the ones that show your company and services in the best light. Foster a strong relationship with your fans and leverage their influence to naturally promote your business. Show people what goes on behind the scenes. Everyone loves to see the laser in action. If you're still watching this, you know that that's true. So one of the best ways to advertise your laser creations, be they simple or complex, is to show them being made. Whether it's a small bit of text being engraved on a keychain or an ornate chandelier constructed from laser cut parts, Seeing the laser at work will excite your potential customers' imaginations, and they'll want a little piece of laser-made spectacle to call their own. And finally, post your work on Pinterest. Pinterest is a thriving, image-driven community where you can build boards, collections of images, to showcase your products to new people. Plus, you can use Pinterest yourself to explore what other people are making and get inspired to make more unique and creative products that will help you stand out. One of the amazing things about owning an Epilogue laser machine is how new applications present themselves nearly every day. Keep thinking about other gifts people give, not just at the holidays, but year round. Birthdays, graduations, housewarmings, baby showers, bridal showers, weddings, Valentine's Day, anniversaries. The chances to give gifts exist throughout the year, which means so do your opportunities to sell new products. When it comes to decor, there's always someone moving into a new home, which they'll want to fill with things that make them feel good. You can be the person that creates those things. Plus, new trends in decorating pop up all the time, which means you'll always have a market and you'll never be out of ideas. And specifically for the holidays, think of ways you can maximize your potential. Perhaps you can partner with your local church or community center. Maybe your local schools have holiday events. Local businesses may be looking to decorate for the holidays, Always be looking to your community, locally and online, to see where you can fill a void with your engraving and cutting capabilities. If you ever need some inspiration, be sure to check out the Epilogue Laser Sample Club, where we regularly create new projects. New sample files are added monthly, along with step-by-step -step instructions. We link off to materials and supplies, provide suggestions for markets you can sell into, and give tips on project setup. Be sure to check it out. And we always encourage folks to join our Facebook community. With over 14,000 members, it is a vibrant and creative group of laser owners and operators that share projects, discuss ideas for new products, and much more. Plus, they are a great additional resource if you ever have any questions about lasers and the laser business. Choosing a machine can seem daunting, but it mostly comes down to the wattage of your laser source and the size of your work area. Wattage affects the thickness of material you can cut. A higher wattage allows you to cut through thicker materials in a single pass. While it depends on your material, generally speaking, if a 30 watt laser will get you through an eighth inch of material in a single pass, a 120 watt laser can get you through a half an inch. Wattage also affects your project speed. More power means you can do more in the same amount of time, or do the same job in less time. The higher your wattage, the faster you can engrave 
because the laser needs to spend less time firing into your material. Faster speeds mean you can produce more projects in a single day, increasing your productivity and your revenue. The second factor, table size, determines what size products you can cut and engrave. Our smallest machine has a work area of 16 inches by 12 inches, and our largest machine has a table that's 48 inches by 36 inches. You can be very productive with a smaller machine, but a larger machine opens the door to working with larger objects and larger sheets of material. Or you can batch out a larger number of items in each production run by filling the entire table. Consider which options are best for you. And if you have questions or you would like to discuss your options with a representative, there are several ways you can do so. Give us a call or send us an email. You'll be able to talk with a knowledgeable person to discuss your needs. Check out our website to view our network of distributors. We have partnered with representatives around the country and around the world, many of them for decades. Odds are we have someone in your neck of the woods that you can talk to. You can also set up a demonstration with your local representative. You can bring your materials and files to test out the machines, determine what your throughput would be, and learn what you can expect from our after-sales support. We believe in our products, and we want to be partners in your success. We succeed when all members of the Epilogue family flourish. So again, give us a call or send us an email, and let's get the conversation started. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. I hope this look at laser cutting and engraving projects and the capabilities of Epilogue's hardware and software has been educational. There are so many opportunities available to you when you have the power, quality, and speed of an Epilogue laser machine at your disposal. If you have questions, be sure to let us know.